It's a beautiful day in sunny Bloemfontein. Today I'm proud to announce that I'm visiting the Barrel and Basket, a homegrown free state restaurant. I'm here to meet Gianni, the operations manager of the chef group Barrel and Basket South Africa. Let me just finish my drink and head inside. Hi, I'm Gianni from Barrel and Basket, the national franchise we have over here. I've been cooking for about 15 years. Uh, professionally, enjoy what I do, love to have you. So Gianni, what are we cooking today? We are doing a Mozambican flambe. Okay, I see you have the ingredients here already. Just take us through each of them. Okay, I've here we've got black tiger prawns uh, from Mozambique. Otherwise, it wouldn't be Mozambique and flambe. We've got baby calamari tubes. They are the most tender. Uh, freshly chopped garlic, parsley, spice, um, butter, not margarine. Must use butter, real butter. Um, chopped peppers, uh, the rice to accompany, which will go with the peppers, and then fresh lemon. And then the flambe part comes in where flambe means to, to make a flame and give it flavour, which, which comes with, uh, uh, with a light rum. It's not dangerous, don't worry about it. <laughs> and then in the bottle, like That's olive oil. olive oil. That's just to seal the, seal the pans to start the flambe. Uh, this is lemon juice and spice. So this is what we'll dip the seafood into first to give it a good flavour. Um, without lemon and spice, seafood is can be pretty bland. You need to have the right mixing combination. Okay, let's get cooking, Jenny. With the pan going, and the pan has to be very hot. For seafood, must be very hot. Otherwise, seafood will just boil, and it, it, it won't get a, a, a good cook. Now, prawns and calamari, we don't cook for too long. It, it's it's going to be 40 seconds wow. or so. We start with the olive oil. Yeah, seal the pan lightly. You can see the flame coming off there, so we know the pan's nice and hot. Put it aside. At the same time, we're going to start our uh, spicy Mozambican rice to accompany the. The seafood. I see you using um, a gas stove. Is there a reason yes. for this? Ish, crack is too expensive in South Africa. <laughs> we go gas. <laughs> you know, gas, gas gives instant heat. Um, electric will take too long, so gas is preferable for restaurants when you've got to do quick service, instant heat. Also, it's e economical. Would you advise that maybe at home we should also change to gas? I've got one at home and it works well. Really? Yeah. Now what we'll do is take our rum and we hope it makes not too much fire. Huh? So this is what you mean by flambe. Flambe means make a flame, yes. Cooks the alcohol away and leaves a nice flavour, helps it to cook into the food as well. And seeing the alcohol cooks away, kids can also eat it. With this flambeing in the rum, but it almost burns the flavour into the seafood. And the Beautiful food flavor. doesn't burn? No, no. Only the alcohol is burning. It burns the flavour into it. The last step is our finishing process with our butter, garlic, lemon juice um, and our spice. Just, just to finish with the butter, It'll give it a nice rich uh, flavour. Mustn't forget about our rice over here. We've just softened the carrots and the peppers and the butter. So that's where you're going to add the rice? Yes. So what we'll do is simply just add our uh, rice into this. And then um, the rice, 
Is it okay if I tried brown rice or is it specific? Brown rice, rice lentil rice, spinach rice. This is our rice. <laughs> so basically yeah. with cooking, you, you just like? put in your own feel, whatever you feel yes. like you want to have. You can have chips if you like, you can have a baked potato, whatever, whatever you feel is, is good. So is this the best way to cook this meal? Is there any other way besides changing up like the type of rice and maybe oil? Well, this is uh, for me the best way. Nice saute, flambe. Um, if you are a health freak, you, you don't need to use the butter and the oil. You can actually just um, put the prawns and the calamari on a baking tray into an oven and just let it grill. And then, like that, they say, Bon Appetit. Bon Appetit. We're ready to eat. <laughs> okay, we're done with the dish now. Presenter's waiting for me in the restaurant, apparently. I hope she's not drinking whiskey this early in the morning. I think it's time for her to eat. Wow, okay. Um, let me start with the rice, actually. Oh. <laughs> Very nice. Amazing. I like the different colors and the mm. flavors. Um, prawns taste have got like this tangy taste to it. I think, did you add, you did, it was the lemon juice. That'll be right? the lemon juice. Yes, yeah. okay, okay, I know I can taste it. Johnny, please tell us a bit about the restaurant. Um, Barrel and Basket uh, is homegrown in the Free State. We, we are a franchise. Uh, we opened in November 2012. Um, we are expanding at the moment into Gauteng, being specifically Pretoria, Johannesburg and, and surrounds. So where does your passion for cooking come from? Um, I was born into an Italian family. So uh, Sunday lunch was always, that's family day. And from the age of 15, I was roped into helping my father cook for the family. And I, I just had a love for it. And I actually started a little business when I was 15, 16 for extra pocket money, wow. making lasagna and cannelloni portions for local delis in Cape Town and really? selling them. Johnny, thank you very much. It was fun cooking with you in the kitchen. And now I know how to make prawns. Actually, where can I get them? Uh, local supermarkets. Mm -hmm. If you look around, you'll, you, you'll find good prawns. Is it? But they must be uh, salt water, black tiger prawns. Saltwater Salt Black Tiger. Black tiger yes. For those of you who are too lazy to make this meal, do make your way to Barrel and Basket at Park Road Tourism Centre in Bloemfontein. Now let me enjoy my meal. <laughs>